Alright, what is going on everybody? This is Sparkle Fresh, and we're back with another playing lesson for Power Star Golf on the Xbox One. I am going to be doing a walkthrough of Emperor's Garden, and I'm just going to do the front nine right now. I don't want this video to, you know, take forever. So I'm going to do the Pro Tees, and I am going to use somebody, and I highly recommend using somebody that has a good amount of power. Frank is one of the first... I mean, he's unlocked right from the get-go, so I'm just going to use that one because everybody has him. You want to use somebody that has a lot of power because it will be essential to your game. It's going to be extremely helpful to hit long shots on this course. Uh, right off the first tee, you'll be able to see, but there's some par fives that you know make making eagles a lot easier, and it's just going to be more helpful than any of the other perks. If you have a hard time hitting the strike zone, I, I recommend putting your accuracy up a little bit. Mine is, you know, not that great, but I'm decent at this game. Although I, it has been a little while, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do. But get the power all the way up, and then you can figure out what to do with the rest of the stuff based on your game. I've had a few other videos. I think I talked about that a little bit. And I always pick Astrid just because she has the putt prediction. I think it's the most helpful. Helps you, you know, take down the most strokes per round. I personally think. Especially, I like using them on par fives. So let's just get right into this. I was talking about a second ago. It's going to be, you know, evident on the first hole that the power is going to come in handy. Because there's a huge ravine leaning down to the ocean right here. It's not really a ravine. It's a cliff. But, you know, we don't want to come off to this left side and have to worry about those trees in front of us. So instead, because we have a lot of power, we can just hit this full blast. The wind's not going to affect it too much because it's a driver. It's coming off the club head a lot hotter at a lot higher rate of speed. And the trajectory is going to be a little bit lower. Oh, I'm so glad I hit that perfect. Off to a good start. It's literally been about a week or two since I've even touch this game. All right, so we got a little bit of an uphill lie right here. 17 feet uphill. We want to be in this area because we're going to have a, a little bit easier of a putt. But we also want to play for a mistake. You know, if we hit a bad shot, we don't want to wind up in the bunker or short of the green. So I'm going to come up a little bit more. And that looks about okay. Over easy. Come on. I, not bad. I always play backspin. Oh, this putt is not easy. That might be too much break. I'm not going to talk too much about putting just because I did an entire video on that. I'm having a hard time reading this one. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Alright, so I'm off to a bad start. Whatever. Yeah. Let's go to the next hole. Results. I left myself a crap putt on that one. I'm rusty. New challenge. Okay. So we can pretty much hit this one right here. If you want to, you can always play a hook shot into the wind. That will help to slow the ball down just a little bit. And it's also going to help hitting into this slope right here. Because we don't want the ball landing on this slope and then careening off of it and bouncing down there and then having to hit over those trees or going in the bunker. So anything to slow it down a little bit is going to be helpful. We'll just play it right there. The wind's not blowing to the right too much. Should be good. That's what I'm talking about. So we drew it back into the hill, had some backspin on and stopped... You know, it stopped fairly short, even though it was on a downhill lie. All right, that's not too difficult of a shot. I should be able to do this. Come on. No, I'm rusty. That might be a little too far. Get down. Here we go. For a birdie. I just like to jam those ones in the hole. Results. 
All right, so we got two par fives coming up. This first one right here is, it's not too long, but you can see we have this directly in front of us. So you don't really have to use your power on the shot. You can just play a little bit of topspin using your D-pad. You can see, if you look to the bottom left, you can see that red uh, dot moving up and down on the golf ball. So you push to the top, you'll have some topspin. Hopefully that'll roll us past the trouble. Oh, I hit it weak. Come on. Get some roll. Just get past that tree, please. Okay, we got lucky. We got ourselves a little gap between there. So there is a lot of break from left to right coming uh, from our direction right here. That means when the ball hits on the green, it's going to bounce in this direction. Uh, when it lands, it's also going to bounce in this direction. So once again, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put backspin on because it's going to change. You can see if I, if I remove that and put topspin on, like that alone will change how far we're going to hit it. So I'm going to have to bring this up a club. I'm going to play the wind a little bit. I don't want to play up high enough to where I could possibly get myself into this territory. So I'm going to play it right in this area right here. I'm probably going to be a little bit short, but that'll be okay. Well down. All right, that's not horrible. For an eagle, it's so uphill. These putts are good to use your putt prediction on, which means you want to be pretty precise in this first measurement. And then you want to hold the B button. All right, so that's short. So now let's just hit this a little bit harder. I don't know if that was hard enough. Are you kidding me? No. For a birdie. <laughs> the birdie has landed. Man, I'm in total shock. So, Results. if you have a higher putting skill, putts like that will drop almost every time. Son of a... I cannot believe that. That is unreal. All right, so this is another par five. This one we're gonna wanna actually go right over this little mountain or hill. It's a moderate breeze. Whatever you wanna call the saying. You wanna go right in this direction right here. You don't even have to, it's a really, it's a pretty short hole. So you, I wouldn't even necessarily recommend using your power boost. Just save it for another hole. Yeah, if you're ever going to hit a perfect strike, that would be the one. You don't have to, though. If you do miss the strike zone by quite a bit, you know, it's you're probably not going to hit a good shot. You're probably going to hit that tree. But there's no chance of getting there in two. It's all a risk-reward thing. If you make an eagle here, it's two shots. You know, that's, that's two shots off your score. And you want to take those risks when you get a chance. So this is uphill a little bit. You can see though behind the, the hole right here. Yeah, now that I'm looking at this, there's just a huge slope. It's almost like it's on a ridge. And everything kind of slopes in that direction. Man, you don't you just want to hit this close. Probably gonna have to bring it up one club just so I can get a little more precise though. Hmm. We should be safe if we hit it about right here. I don't even know. You don't. Re you're not really gonna have a safe putt on this one, so a birdie will be okay. I did not hit that one good. That's gonna be bad. Oh. All right. This is a tricky line. This is, st this is still for Eagle. So the chance of us making a birdie here are still really good. And that's the whole risk-reward thing. If I would have done this on my third shot, I would have had to make this for birdie, and then I would have had to make a... 
you know, a putt for par, which is just not as easy, especially on a green that's really tricky like this. I don't know if that's enough. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Great approach. Too bad. That, as you can see, I used the chip shot right there. Chip shots are always good when you're that close to the pin, when you're that close to the green that uh, you can't really putt because it's almost like hitting a putt. You want to play it just like a putt, play the break like a putt. You don't want to hit flop shots. You don't want to hit uh, like normal shots or pitch shots right there because you would almost have to land it directly in the hole. And that's just not easy to do. So on this hole, I highly recommend just dropping it down a club. You don't want to mess with this because it's so high uphill and there's really not a lot of room to land. So unless you hit it perfect, you're going to be in this area. And then, who knows, you're going to be hanging out with Sasquatch, taking pictures of Bigfoot. So just drop it down one club. Since it's, you know, a little bit uphill and into the wind, side wind, you can just hit a full little three wood right here. You don't have to worry about anything. You could miss hit that one and you're still going to be fine. Alright, so this is significantly uphill, but it is with a sandwich, which is a little bit higher of a loft club, so it's not going to affect it as much as it would a club with less loft. So we don't have to play a crazy amount behind the hole, but it's still a good bit and we, we want to be safe here. There is a lot of, a lot more slope in this direction. So being in front of the pin actually is probably going to be a better bet. Come back here a little bit. Did I even put backspin on that? I don't remember. Oh, bounce for me. Okay, that should be a relatively easy putt though. I hope that's straight in. Why is my name right in front of me? I don't even know how to remove that. All right. Come on, baby. There we go. Results. How long is this? I hope I hope I'm not like 30 minutes in already. All right. So this hole is we are a good amount downhill on this hole, but you have to see that the wind is almost blowing directly at us. So even though we're down here, we're not going to have to play this shot in this area. We can actually play it almost, I would say almost pin high. Maybe a little bit, a li a little bit in this direction. And remember everything, because everything's sloping from the left to the right, the ball is definitely going to bounce and roll in this direction. So take that into account. Decide where you want to hit it. Ideally, this area is going to be your easiest putt. But with all that in mind, I think I feel comfortable hitting it right here. Bam! Frank attack. Maybe a little too far. Ooh, big bounce. All right, so it's a little too far. I left myself a not the easiest putt in the world. Ah, oh, let's see. I'm just going to hit it. Probably not enough break, though. Nope. For par. Result. All right, on to the next hole. Man, I'm really not, not playing that well. I needed some more warm-up rounds. All right, we saved one of our power shots, so... Even though we don't really need it for this hole, a shorter shot into a green is always going to be easier. And since it's a good bit downhill, even though there is a you know, bunker right here and there's, there's some trouble, we still should be able to carry that with no issues whatsoever. And maybe we can get a world record. I don't think, I think I might have had to hit that full, full power. It's going to land on an upslope. Ah, 
close. All right, 180 yards. That's a tight little area. Bring it up a club. And since, you know, since we're hitting our second shot into a par five, don't worry about all of this stuff. Because even if you hit it in here, you're still going to give yourself a chance to make a birdie, and it's not that big of a deal. You just want to try to capitalize on the fact that you are able to reach a par five into. Just try to hit it close, try to make it, you know, try to do whatever you can right here. Come on, crossing my fingers. Oh, get down a little bit. Man, look at that thing run. This is a tricky lie. All right, so this is another this is another good chance to do a chip shot. Is it really that far uphill? I might be able to make this, though. I have to come up a club. Or two. So hard. So hard to get an accurate, uh, to be accurate with your analog stick. Come on. Right, I'm just gonna hit it right there, please. Perfect shot. Get in there. Yes. It, in. It, ma it made it all worth it. I was thinking in my head, man. I'm spending too much time on this shot. If I don't make this, I'm gonna look like a fool. Results. All right, two holes left. Five hours into it. All right, so we got another par three, 26 feet uphill. Heavy slope from right to left this time. Always got to put that backspin on. If we play it anywhere in this area, the wind's going to bring it to the left for us, and the ball will definitely bounce that far. I have a feeling because there's kind of a ridge right here that even if we have backspin on, the ball will bounce a little bit more. So being short here is actually not that bad of an idea. I think right about there, possibly. That's a guess. What? Oh, I got trigger happy. That's going to be such a difficult play. For a birdie. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> a foot down there. All right. I'm going to use my putt prediction here because I saved one. We only got one hole left. All right. Be the ticket. Come on, baby. No, not enough break. Maybe. You've got to be kidding me. Another. That's right. I hit, I hit a horrible shot into the green right there. Results. New challenge. All right. Last hole. So we saved one of our power shots. And even though this is a short hole, I mean, might as well use it here. But don't worry if you don't have it for this hole because laying up in this area, I mean, even back here, it's going to be such a short shot that it's really not going to have any effect on anything. Where was that on the last hole? All right, so we got an uphill lie, which is going to affect... The way the ball travels a little bit more, it's going to shoot it in the air, so the wind will affect it slightly more than it normally would. We don't want to be short right here, so playing it a little bit long is going to be fine. We're probably not going to have too easy of a putt. As you can see, the pin is literally located on the side of a, a little hill right here. So, But ideally, if you're aiming for a perfect spot, I would say this, this area right here where I'm circling. 
Probably your best bet. Just, that might be just too hard. Get down. Get down. All right. I'm just gonna jam this one in the back. Alright, so that wasn't too bad for my first game back in a couple weeks. But I will I will be finishing this walkthrough up with the back nine here in the next day or so. I just gotta find a little bit more time to play. These holiday seasons are kicking my ass. I mean, I don't have a giant family, but my girlfriend does, and boy oh boy, there's all sorts of stuff going on. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a good one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I'm also getting close to 100 subscribers, and I will be doing a little giveaway for that, some digital movies. So stay tuned, because that should be happening relatively soon. But uh, until next time, have a good one, and I'll see you again. <laughs>